Hi there. My name is Sean Grimes, and I'm the Director of Technology for the Digital Harbor Foundation. Today I want to share with you which 3D printer we use in our space, and why. So we use the PrinterBot Metal Simple, or as it's called now, the PrinterBot Simple, and we use it for a few different reasons. A, at its price point of only $600, it's one of the most reliable and high quality printers at that price range, but equally so, it competes with printers at even higher price ranges for quality, durability, and reliability. As far as quality goes, you're not going to get a better quality printer until about the $3,000 range. And so for me, I can buy three of these for $600 and still be well below most competitor printers that I'm only going to get one of. This printer has a few features that are not found on most printers out there. One, it has an auto bed leveler. Now some printers will claim that they have an auto bed leveler, but it still requires you to use like a piece of paper or a business card to do the calibration. This printer actually uses a sensor and it detects the metal bed. And so it does the calibration all by itself before every print. This printer uses standard file formats, STL, and G-code to do its printing. So this means that it will run on Windows or Mac, and you can use a plethora of software to design for it and to control its printing. One of my favorite accessories for these printers is a Raspberry Pi. A Raspberry Pi is about $45 to $50 computer that you can plug directly into the 3D printer using a USB cord. And this allows you to free up any of your computers and not have them dedicated to a 3D printer. This printer has a six by six inch build area. It does not have a heated bed, but that's really only an issue when you start getting into really specialty filaments or ABS. And we print primarily with PLA. We like that it's non-toxic and that it's relatively safe and that the fumes are not very uh, smelly. The printer is fairly reliable. You're always going to have some issues with 3D printers. And at the $600 price point, I don't mind some of the issues that I run into and some of the tuning that I have to be done. Even on some of the $2,000 printers that we've used, we've had to do a lot of maintenance and, and tuning and troubleshooting with them. And for me, I'd rather spend $600 and get you know three of these for the price of a $2,000 one. And if it breaks, I can send this one off to the side and I still have two more that are going. One of the issues you might run into is the bed getting uneven or filament jamming. And those are all very simple things to fix. And even the parts on this are relatively inexpensive. The most expensive part is the circuit board underneath and you can still replace that for about $75. Everything else is gonna cost you less than 50 to replace if it gets really that bad. I've only had to replace a few parts around here and we have about 25 of these printers going almost every day, year round. My personal printers at home, I also have this unit as one of my printers at home, and I haven't had to replace a thing on that one, and I've owned it for about a year. And that's just getting sort of regular wear and tear versus the printers here that are really getting some advanced wear and tear. But they hold up really well, and I still stand by this unit. It's won multiple awards from Make Magazine every year in their 3D printer shootout. PrinterBot, the company itself, is one of the most winningest companies in the 3D printer shootout. There are better printers out there, but not at this price point and not even close to this price point. For me, if I needed to get a better printer than this one, I'd be looking in the $3,000 range. So if your budget is $2,500 and under, this is really the printer that I recommend.